Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. We're still in this misty valley, which I kind of regret ever having entered, but, you know. I just killed a couple more enemies because I was kind of close to the fourth skill point, and I did acquire the second um, money and item drop increase, even though, you know, it's, it's probably not the ideal use of my points, but I kind of want that. I like this kind of, you know, passive... Uh, increase. Although I must say, I'm really, I was really tempted to just try these simple leaping kicks. I also, of course, unlocked the at least the info on the final skill here, the high monk, which um, is a continuation as expected. So you can just continue attacking after the leaping kicks and apparently perform several sword attacks and finish with the jumping forward kick, which just sounds pretty awesome. Uh, that's a total of seven more points to pump into that. But I'm very tempted to actually do it. I'm also interested in getting these various um, uh, spirit emblem increases because we have a couple of things, a couple of good things. Uh, most prominently, this um, mortal draw attack that actually eats through spirit emblems pretty quickly. Actually, speaking of spirit emblems, because I might die, because I, I okay, yeah, so I, I have not uh, exactly found the way to the roof, but I've um, been reminded of a path that I had seen, but kind of forgotten about it toward the end of last episode, so um, I definitely want to check that one out before I, you know, give up hope, but uh, it seems like I might be onto something, or, you know, I might just fall off. Possible. Getting there is easy enough, though. There's still the headless to deal with, and you know, I feel like a bit of a chicken for not, you know, giving him an honest try. Like giving, uh, getting a jumping attack, a surprise attack, an honest try, specifically. I think I should be okay just doing this. I, yeah, we can just grapple onto that. From below. There, no need to shimmy across at all. Yeah, I had completely forgotten that there is actually a path this way, which might loop around, probably will loop around to that roof because, or to that tree and then to the roof, because I spent a lot of time down here killing enemies, looking around, and I could not find any kind of way. So, yeah. Right, there was this big guy, and actually, those. Enemies there are monkeys. Just kind of wild. Because, oh, okay. Well, you saw that monkey had a sword. Not quite sure what's up with that. Um. Okay. Nope, I'm not even here. You can prove that I'm here. I mean, I could use this and... What? What the heck are you? Tokujiro the glutton. I believe it. Reminds me of that enemy... Oh yeah, totally. That's similar to the, to the guy guarding the... the courtyard. Large open field. Toward the end of Hirata Estate. Hello, sword monkey. Yeah. Monkeys with swords and hats. Nothing unusual to see here. Perfectly normal. I think it should be possible to de aggro the boss. Mini boss, I should say. Like so, easy enough actually. I really don't like that he just immediately notices me. Unless it was just a monkey upstairs? Upstairs. Who saw me? Oh, actually, maybe that was... Maybe that is what happened. Nope! Ooh, okay, that's not what I meant to do, really. Yo. Did that... 
heal him. What? I don't even understand what just happened. I think he just looped his attack entirely and I'm, I'm stupid. Shouldn't have even tried to, to dash out of the way. Not sure what I thought was going to happen, but, uh, well, it didn't work out for me. Um, why do I keep doing this, by the way? I mean, it really doesn't matter because I can just wrap it back up. Um, stupid booster. Wow, okay, get juggled, I suppose. Fine by me. Right now I don't have much to lose at all, so that's, that's good. Spent all of my money. Something just died. Um, didn't have any experience. And if the dragon rot spreads again, then that is not the right thing to use at all. Would you please? Oh no. Okay. Monkeys are no problem whatsoever. Can I hit the monkey? Yes, okay. Well, that's good. What kinds of pellets? Not bad. Oh! How? Why? Woo! Okay, I mean, that's just cheap. You had no business turning around when you did. And you know it. Oh no! Um, wrong button. Okay, is the axe gonna help me against the big guy? Uh, possibly? I mean, it's good damage, good poster damage. Maybe. This is another situation where Mortal Draw could come in really handy. It does burn through a lot of emblems. And I, I can just not think about how expensive that is. How much how much gold those equal. Oh, wait. He's now facing my way. That sucks. Or is he facing away? No, he is facing my way. Great. Okay. How about... You don't. Can I... Where's that grapple point? There. Um... The stupid tree. Okay, I can just ignore him. And from up here, in theory, it should be easy to get a surprise attack. You should bring me far enough away. Yep. Okay, well, that works. And now I can even do this. I was planning to do the the thing. The mortal draw thing. Like so. Oh no! You know? Oh no! How did he get me? Oh, I was gonna say, that didn't deal nearly as much damage as I would have expected. Stupid enemy. Stupid sumo. Oh, wow. Never mind. Not, not that stupid. Oh, I got hit anyway. Okay. What? Oh, God. No, I do. I, I did dodge somehow. Go again. Uh, nope. Okay. No, how do I keep messing that up? What a dirty fight. <sighs> oh, 
Oh god, how did I God damn it. I should have had that one. Ugly as it was. I feel like I should have won. Maybe I should try to damage him Well oh, thanks. Damage him a bit more first before having to rely on the or you know before Wow, that was a lot of damage. Whoa! What? Excuse me? Those things never never dealt that much damage to me. That's crazy. Okay, um, well. How do I get back? Oh, that's great. So those things can actually be dangerous. Okay, so, um... Yeah, big guy, Tokujiro. I will try to fight him without Mortal Draw first, basically. And then, once he's already weakened... Although, isn't it better to, to open with Mortal Draw because that will bring his health down and thus slow down his regen? Actually, that may be the, the better approach, after all. Also, I guess I should go this way because I actually... Whoa, that's certainly not what I meant to do. Damn it. I mean, it worked, but... At what price? Anyway. Uh, yeah. Alright, monkeys. Please come this way. Okay. One of them comply immediately. I'm going to not use my shurikens in order to save them. To save the emblems, rather. Hello. Can you come this way? Okay, that one will come, that's fine. Did you not see me, my monkey friends? I mean, theoretically, I uh, only need 12 emblems. Can you please come up here? I know you can. You did that once. Hey. Hey. Everyone else has seen me, just not the, those two guys. They're just, they're still confused. Great. Oh, hey, now you come. Okay. Now that monkey is throwing things at me, that's... Hmm. First, he ever the boss. <laughs> oh, okay, that works. Was he throwing something, or does he actually have a rifle? Not sure. Also back up to 15 emblems. Okay. Cool. Uh-huh. Are you Okay. Fine. Also, do one of these, perhaps. 
Can I use them both? No, I can only have one. Uh, I mean... Fair enough, I guess. Oh, that killed me too? Wow, he deals so much damage. Despite my physical resistance buff. Okay, hide behind the tree, like the valiant hero that I am. I mean, no one said that I was a hero. I certainly never claimed that. Okay, jumping out of those attacks. Thing. No. Maybe I should wait until his freaking poison has run out, because I don't like the idea of getting poisoned, although he just re-poisoned, so that's great. What? I also lost lock on. It's always fun when when that happens. What? Okay. Freaking hell! This should not have been that difficult. Oh, unrefined sake. Cloudy unrefined sake. Okay. A drink meant for sharing. This one does not say that I got it from Ishin. Because I didn't. But it is still the same kind of sake. Huh. I mean, it is Ishin's favorite, so I guess... I'll give this one to him. And there's the prayer bead. Sweet. Now we can upgrade our health again. This guy was also worth a decent amount of experience. So that's nice. Okay, is there anything else here? Well, this looks like death, honestly. I could take a leap of faith, because I'm, I shouldn't die, I'm just going to lose some health. You know what? For science. Oh, okay, yeah, it's just a death plane. Fair enough, as expected. So we heal. Honestly, I'm probably going to die unintentionally, but... But that's okay. I mean, I shouldn't, but you never know. A pellet. All right. Well, this is actually just the same ledge as I was on before. And this is almost definitely going to get me to the roof. A lot of fat wax. Yum. Yep. Sure looks like it. Okay. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, all the way up top, although I don't I don't remember seeing an item up here, so I guess we really just want to one level down right there and what are we gonna find in here also I didn't really see another way going forward anywhere unless there is some kind of tunnel entrance inside this building what the heck what the heck even is that Oh no. Alright, so I was right, it's not a shamisen, it's a flute. I don't want this. I don't like this one bit. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm down 
three gourds. What even is that? Why why do I want to fight it? I don't know. Just because I can, I guess. Miss Noble. Wait. Oh. Well, that was easy. Lump of grave wax. Ugh. A lump of fatty wax that was formed inside the body and turned pitch black. Well, more like sickly purple, but okay. Used for occultic prosthetic tool upgrades of an advanced nature. Nature? Uh, a long suffered illness will see the growth turn large and blacker still. It is customary to run water over the site of an extracted growth. This is really gross. Okay, will then mist dissipate? It will. It will? Will it? Yes, it will. It did. Oh, wait. Everything changed! Everything has changed. Wow. Okay, that's neat. That's a neat effect. So this building, while formerly mostly intact, is actually completely in ruins. And the entire valley is different now, it seems like. This is wild. Presumably no more phantoms forming in the mist? Also no more unlimited easy farming, I guess. Well... There is something up there, something bright, and I want it. Alright. Uh, which way even is which? I think... Um, I think I don't... I'm not, I think I'm not sure. This is an open grave. Heavy coin purse. Is it a grave? I don't know. It's a, it's a hole in the ground. Let's not think too much about it. There's clearly something up there, although... I guess that's just... Yeah, yeah, okay, there's... There's the shimmying ledge. Although... Wait, no, never mind. That's... At first I thought that was a solid rock wall now, but... It seems like the opening is still there. Yeah, I guess ultimately it's the same area, just without mist. Huh. What does that mean, though? Is the headless also gone? Because, I mean, that would be nice on one hand. On the other hand, I kind of would have liked to, to fight it, maybe, eventually. I wonder if there are no enemies around because there are, because there just aren't any more enemies now that I defeated the Mist Noble, or if that's just because I I had defeated them before and while the area changed visually, it's still technically the same map with the same same enemy spawns. Oh, is the path actually... Oh, the path is going to continue there between those two suspicious lamps. There was a, a fake illusory wall before. Okay. Also nice flickering there. Okay, so the path does continue. No fall damage, surprisingly. All right, should I just push forward now? I guess I... Might as well. All right. Do I see something? Oh, is that that could be that the hidden village? There are buildings. Sure enough. Are those people standing there, or what? What is that? Cannot tell at this distance. Wait. Hold on just a second. I never use this crap here. So. Well, this doesn't help much. Is that people? Is that statues? Is that something? I can't tell. <gasps> Don't do that. Okay. That could have been bad. 
Still don't see any enemies, which is highly suspicious. Also, while there are items down there, I think I shouldn't just drop straight down. There's the sculptor's idol. Okay. I'm gonna trust the game to lead me safely down there without trying to pull any dirty tricks. Still trying to keep both eyes open for potentially hidden things. Oh, there's... Oh, just dogs, okay. But there's also probably an enemy down there. I can't tell what it is. Is that... No, I just don't know. It's moving, so it's definitely an enemy, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what that is. Well, it seems like the statue or the, the idol should be easy enough to reach. That's nice, at least. What's up there? Well, just a weird... I don't know if that's going to pick up in the video, but there's a weird dithering effect on the sky, which isn't looking great. But, you know. That's okay. There's... Dark water. There's more wolves guarding that little canyon. Well, I mean, first things first. Oh, there's another memorial mob. Sweet. Where did I see that weird person? Oh, maybe that was the mob I saw from above. From above. Maybe that's all it was. <laughs> it's very possible. I'll find out soon enough. Okay, Mibu Village, indeed. All right, well, uh, physical attributes, yes, please. Uh, the gun fort of Sunken Valley is commanded by the Snake Eyes, an elite force of women able to pierce distant targets with mighty flint cannons and phenomenal vision. Oh, wait, was that the one with the Okami? I thought I had somehow some picked up a connection between the Okami descendants and some kind of, uh, yeah, gunfighters, or female gunfighters, I suppose. And that's why I, why I was trying to use this, the Sabimaru against that um, mini-boss guarding the entrance to the, to the depths. Oh, okay, I guess I was seeing those things. Oh, hello. What, whoa, what are you? An old fisher man or fisher woman? I don't know, that's kind of the impression I'm getting here. Um, okay. So far, they don't seem particularly dangerous. Which is... Making me suspicious again. What? Oh, you're also... Might also be... Infinitely respawning or undead? Well, I'm definitely killing them. Getting experience for them. Do I need to destroy these... Things? What are they called? Fishing implements? The fireflies remain. I wonder if they have anything to do with anything? Hmm. Seems like there is only a limited number of them spawning. Who knows, though. Yeah, so I think these are the ones, are the things I saw. Lit by some kind of... Lights. Oh, this is Mibu Village, indeed. Alright. Well, there are... Villagers, though. Oh, a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-huh. Are they carrying something? No. It's just one of them has a huge... I don't know. Looks like just a piece of wood. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> no more cover. 
That's fine. I wasn't really going to try and kill them all now, necessarily. I also did not rest, which is probably a bad idea. Okay, let's visit our friend here. Was that you I saw from above? Maybe? Another one, indeed. Okay. Uh, pellets, mottled purple gourd. That does not look good. A curved mottled purple gourd filled with medicinal water refills upon rest. Reduces terror status buildup. Ooh. Uh, yes. I think I want this. This is also relatively cheap. Edamantite scrap. Two scales for only 500 each. Not bad. Dragon Spring Sake. Well, well, well. This is a new kind, too. A bottle of crystal clear sake. Sake is a drink meant for sharing. A top shelf sake brewed by the Ashina Brewmaster with water from the Dragon Spring. The pure water extracts every last bit of flavor from Ashina's finest rice. There are no words that can do the flavor justice. To understand, one must taste it for themselves. Except I will never get to do that. But I can share it with my friends, or, you know, at least allies, I guess. Speaking of which, I, I do have two bottles that I should share at some point. Okay. Oh, I have only... not very much money. Fair enough. There's... Well, this is actually not deep at all. Oh. Who or what are you? Some kind of ninja? What? Oh! Oh! Also, I don't have the correct item equipped. Not that it would have helped in this situation, but, you know. Nope. Poison, what? Uh, okay. I messed up. I'm most likely gonna pay dearly for it, like so. Okay. Yep. That happened. Goodbye, what little money I have. And all the experience, oh no. Oh, well, whatever. Yep, there it goes. Minus 2,000. Oh no. I was so close to the next freaking level up. There's that annoying guy. I should be able to get a drop attack too and just instantly kill him. Ah. What a needless... needless death and loss. Uh, can I please? Why? Okay. I tried grappling onto this at least twice. And I don't see why it shouldn't have worked. Also, I probably don't want this any longer. It is useful, but it, there's too much of a chance that I'll just accidentally use it. Wasn't there another wolf? Not so. What's happening here? What? Come on. Please. Hmm. Alright then. 
Whoa! Wait, that's that, that guy, how? Just how? That makes no sense. Ah. Wow. What an absolute jerk. Wow. I mean, clearly he just jumped down to, uh, no, climbed up to where I was. Kind of impressive, honestly. Uh, nope, jump! Um, or get missed because you were flat on the ground. That works too. Is he healing? Oh, he reduces. Poster damage. Poison. Uh, I'm gonna die again, actually. And I don't really want to. Not really, you know. Whoa, okay. Of course he would be able to do that. How do I... just like this? Okay, can we please do this the elegant way? That would be nice. He instantly knows where I am. Amazing. Is there any way for me to Not get screwed. Can I please jump? Okay. Not wax. I think he's still throwing shurikens at me. Even though I can't see him. Oh yeah, it's right there. But has he lost interest? No. Absolutely not. It's the same freaking kind of enemy as that Jerk in the in the well, and I feel like maybe I've seen another one like him, a normal enemy type ninja like that. I'm not sure though. Might be making that up, but yeah, I hate that guy. I know that much. He must eventually. Lose track of me. Okay, combat music has actually stopped. Also, hi. Okay. Hmm, this one didn't respawn. I wonder if they didn't respawn in the first place, and I just didn't see where that one came from, or one or two extra ones. Okay, in theory, the dog is gone, so... It might be possible to actually surprise that jerk. He's just standing there. He's back toward me. There's no dog. Yeah, it's one of those. Wait, wait, I see one one of those purple ninjas. Okay, he's worth 781, 84. He was guarding a treasure scale. All right. 
and that's that. Oh, nasty. Well, now that's out of the way. I guess I am back to about the amount of money I had and almost the experience I had, so yay. And this should have been a lot easier, though. Oh well, that's a, an ongoing theme. I'm gonna travel back to... Well, first the temple and see if I can offer any of the sake that I have to the sculptor. But if my theory is correct and I can only give each kind of sake to each person once, then I don't think... I don't think he wants any of, of what I have. Hey. Okay. I can talk to him. But I cannot give him sake. Well, in that case, I think I should only be able to give Emma the monkey booze. I'm gonna try, gonna try that. And then I'll give Lord Ishin his favorite sake. Even though it's the same kind that he already gave me. Okay. Right. I can only give her this one because she's also had the cloudy one before. Or I guess the unrefined is what it's called. So You do? How so? I didn't say that. I'd like to hear the, the whole story. <笑>まことに親切なサルでした doesn't have his own convenient teleporter, but I guess probably don't have to return to talk to him all that often. Hey, old man. Oh. Why, yes, it is. I mean, it did happen to me, so I guess it's true. うん。そうか。赤き刃がな。脳赤色。不思議があれば Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I'm just glad that it doesn't just keep killing me over and over. <laughs> I mean, that's true for any weapon. <laughs> that's what I thought. やはりこれじゃ。時に<笑><笑> ゲイチロウの死の技じゃ。なかなかに面白かったであろう。死とは共え。あれほどの使い手はそうはおらぬ。まるで舞のようにあの女は戦う。あやつの瞳を覗いておると、皆そこに引き込まれるような心地がした
Oh, well, was that actually? Wait. That aggro indicator, was that the, the headless? Or. Hmm, maybe. He's almost perfectly protected by this freaking root. I wonder if it's even possible to get a, a drop attack on him. It might not be possible, actually. Or maybe from here? In theory... Use the mortal draw. I feel kind of bad for relying on this so much, but it's in no way a an, a win button. So you know, I guess I'm okay with it. It does not work. Ugh. Deals almost no damage to him. I wonder if that's because he's specifically resistant to it. Also, did I not heal? I guess I did not. I could have sworn I used an item. Oh, there, now I did. Scrap magnetite and lump of fat wax. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. Okay, so looks like the Mortal Draw is not the way to go against this thing. Also, it certainly looked like I didn't even get a chance to, to use a drop attack on him, so... Oh god! Stupid freaking rooster. Gotcha. <sighs> okay. If it can be helped, I would really like to not get killed. Um, okay, I guess those cannot be blocked. Yeah, the headless. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't see myself ever defeating that one. Thankfully, so far, both of them seem to be completely optional, which is really surprisingly... surprisingly um, merciful. Wait, did I get the next idol? Oh, of course I did. Um... Right, new village. I guess I'll start exploring a little bit. We only have a couple more minutes to go here, but... Maybe I can at least... Let's see. Okay, there's one, two... Two of them. One came from up there somehow. I guess the one that I killed by the... Up by the hut kneeling there. Yeah, okay, that's that's one that got aggroed as well. There's what, three more? Yes. Okay, that one's returning uphill. These are so... so harmless. They must have some kind of nasty trick up their sleeve, but... Also, yeah, where did this one come from? For example. And that one also seemed to just crawl out of the earth. Hmm. 
but there definitely is a limited number. Which is both good and bad, I suppose. It seems like a decent farming spot, though. They're worth an, a decent amount of experience. Maybe not a huge amount of money, considering that I have two money upgrades. Evil fish in here? Hmm. Can't lock onto any fish so far. Oh, hello. There's the patrol. You look like you could be trouble. Hundred and twenty eight, okay. Only eleven gold though. Yeah. I guess these are poor simple folk. How do they react to shurikens? They don't like him. They don't die to one though. Looks like they will die to a second one. Seven and eleven gold. All right. Okay. Yeah. So this is definitely not the the spot to farm gold. That's for sure. Kind of suspicious of that guy with the big piece of whatever that is. Is that supposed to be a two-handed sword? Because it really just looks like like a plank of wood. something, I think. Thank goodness for iframes. Oh, 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 they deal, they deal damage. As expected. I'm stuck on some kind of freaking geometry. <sighs> That's the best. That's my absolute favorite when that happens. Wow, what? Did the entire patrol respawn, or is that just the second one? Huh. Interesting. One, two... Oh, does that one see me? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. What? Excuse me? Um... You're not supposed to see me when I'm hiding in the tall grass. That makes me literally invisible. In case you weren't aware. You jerks. I mean, this is... wasteful money-wise, but... Then again... I will get the occasional emblem back. It's not even that much of a problem. Seriously though, does that patrol just come back?
Okay. Was ist das hat? Hm. Was it just a second identical patrol or did it did they all respawn once? I I'm so confused. Balloon of soul. Still no enemies in the water. Hmm. Can grapple up to that roof. Is there an enemy on that roof? What is that? That white stuff swaying in the wind. Hmm. I'll grapple. Not to the roof, but the tree. Oh. That's just something I can grapple onto, apparently. There's another one of those blue robed figures. What's in here? Wait, where do they go? Oh, they just stop there? Okay. I'd like to get that blue guy by himself. I wonder if I can jump far enough to get a... Yep. Turns out that I do. Surprised none of the others actually got aggroed. It's more than surprising. Pacifying agent, alright. Looks like those guys are trying to line ambush. Facing the other direction there. Right. Hmm. I could be using this. Could be using the the blood smoke. But is that worth it against these? Probably not. Um, okay, this terrain is going to be a pain to navigate. Oh. How fortunate for me that you were facing the other way. Okay, these guys have their face covered with a, some kind of sack, it looks like. They're wielding nasty looking kitchen knives. That's nice. Okay, there are big guys with hammers. Some kind of excavation taking place. So this almost this this very much reminds me of the uh, fishing village in Bloodborne. Actually, a very Lovecraftian touch to it somehow. I guess I also need to to make a cut here and end the episode. What? 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 You what now? Um, let go? Oh, wow. Um, don't terrify me or whatever you're trying to do. Okay. That miraculously worked out for me. Uh, is there a way to see this kind of thing? I mean, oh, are you the? No, who actually are you? Wow, oh. perfect counter. Not sure how I got that one. Yet. No. I'm not one to look gift hogs in the mouth, as they say. Please grapple, thank you. 
Having so much trouble grappling onto things. For no real reason. Okay, what's in this house? Oh, a person. As in a person who's probably not going to immediately try and kill me. Hello? Uh -huh. You might want to know that you are still visible. No, you're not a basket. That's not my samurai friend, is it? Oh, um, I like to believe so, yeah? Glad you agree. So, who are you exactly? Um, I mean, that's fine by me. <laughs> Basket for Shosuke. Alright. Um, yeah, about the village. <laughs> I mean, are, are you from here? Oh, okay. After you herk herk threw up? Oh, wait. Okay. Well, I mean that... かんぬし様がときどきお酒を振る舞ってくださるんだ。ただなあ、お酒を飲むと喉が渇いてしまう。魚はすぐ空になる。仕方なくみんな。Oh, so how are you how are you su surviving now what are you drinking the village priest yeah that seems to be maybe the key to this whole affair all fear fire well okay あの <laughs> but is it the sake or the water that everyone's drinking that's driving them insane? On the side of the pond, alright. The last house on the path. Thank you. Hmm. ざいにさかのぼったさきついげんに近いお社にいらっしゃる。ミナでミヤコビトにな Thanks for the info. Yeah, you do that. Good luck with that. Um, how do I get back out? Oh. Like this. And of course, some of these enemies have respawned. Some or all of them? I. I mean, I guess it makes sense if the head priest here is also trying to find his own method of, you know, immortality, of fake immortality, by somehow imitating the Fountainhead Spring and its effect. And that's how everyone keeps responding. 
but only a limited number of times. I guess that's true for me as well, so... Um, maybe I shouldn't be too surprised. Anyway, other side of the pond, last house on the path. It's where that hunter is supposed to be, who sounds like he should still be unaffected. And then somewhere up there, some kind of temple, that's where I find the head priest. Pretty cool. I, I mean, this is a very unpleasant place, but I really dig the theme that's going on here. That's for sure. Um, and I definitely need to call it an episode. So, yeah, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.